Hi class, this is another video for uh, reaction equilibrium calculation. So for reaction equilibrium calculations. Like we discussed the last time in the review lecture, uh, we understand the very general uh, criteria at the equilibrium we have T alpha is T beta P alpha is uh, P beta F i alpha is F i beta. So that is the uh, very general criteria result reaction. These reactions versus these reactions, the key difference is uh, the Completions. The MI is uh, changing as time. However, if we use this uh, DG at as the uh, this epsilon, we define this as reaction coordinate. Then at equilibrium, this should be zero at equilibrium. Where we need to understand the first thing is the de epsilon, de epsilon, which is defined as the composition change, any composition with the corresponding stoichiometry new i value, where we call this as a reaction coordinate, which is indeed the descriptor. of the reaction. Okay. So from there we understand that uh, uh, for equilibrium with reactions eventually we need to satisfy the equation which is nu i mu i should be zero. Please check the slides if you want to understand how we can go from dg of the epsilon is zero and uh, why we shall have this uh, uh, some this uh, summation of new i and uh, chemical potential of all the components the product shall be zero. But uh, moving forward from there, we understand that this is basically the new i and mu i calculations, right? So there we try to understand this new i firstly. For example, suppose we have the reaction. We have a reaction, which is a gas phase reaction. At a high temperature, we are having hydrogen. In the gas phase, it's going to react with the oxygen and if we have enough oxygen, then we are going to completely burn and we are going to have the uh, uh, vapor water as the uh, reaction product. So this is the uh, reaction we have. There we, we can see that for the uh, new H2, it's uh, uh, the reactant, so this is a negative 2 value. For new oxygen, is also one of the reactant, which is negative. For the product, which is water, and we are going to have positive. From there, we, we can also calculate the new stoichiometry value of the reaction is the summation of this new I, and this is 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 1 should be 
negative one. Right. So if we define according to the, the definition, d epsilon is uh, d m i over nu i, then suppose this is a reaction one, and we have the corresponding uh, epsilon one, epsilon, epsilon one as the uh, reaction coordinate at equilibrium, then we uh, use uh, this definition. So we can say that d epsilon 1 is also the change of hydrogen d and hydrogen change over over what? over new hydrogen which is d and hydrogen over negative 2 right and we also discussed that uh, the uh, yi value the composition of all the components will be expressed as the ratio between uh, n i not the initial number of moles of the component i plus new i is the geometry number of its own times the uh, equilibrium reaction coordinate that would be the n naught of the total plus new of the reaction times epsilon so for this uh, specific case suppose and hydrogen not would it be two more and oxygen initially we are having one more then we know and not of the total is n hydrogen plus oxygen that is three more so why the composition of hydrogen is uh, n naught plus nu epsilon and i naught plus nu i epsilon that is hydrogen This is hydrogen initial plus new hydrogen times reaction coordinate of epsilon 1 then we would have 3 is uh, new is uh, negative 1 minus epsilon 1 for hydrogen initially we have 2 is uh, 2 new hydrogen is negative 2 so negative 2 epsilon that is at the uh, equilibrium we are going to have the expression uh, for the hydrogen and of course you should be able to write down the expression for oxygen and for the uh, reaction product of water so here I want to uh, I want to compare a different uh, way of uh, expressing the same reaction so now suppose that, that we try to write down the reaction as hydrogen still reacting oxygen is going to generate water vapor so this is my second reaction exactly the same reaction the only difference is I'm going to have uh, epsilon 2 as the corresponding reaction coordinate and I'm going to have the exact same initial so my initial uh, my initial hydrogen is still 2 more the oxygen initially is still 1 more 
from there we know M naught is uh, still three more. No change. The change is the new values. Now the new H two is uh, negative one. New oxygen is negative half. New water vapor is one. There we know this new of reaction two. Where we try to have this as new I. Yes, uh, summation of I, I, this is one, negative one, negative half, which is negative half, right? So, they are for the same reaction, same temperature, same pressure. Eventually, we are going to consume same amount of hydrogen. So now when you try to put together this uh, d epsilon of the reaction one is d hydrogen over new hydrogen in the first reaction which is d and hydrogen in the first reaction that is uh, A negative 2 this is negative 2 here for my second reaction d epsilon 2 I'm going to have same pay attention to this this is the same amount of hydrogen but I'm going to have new hydrogen of the second reaction, which is D and hydrogen, and uh, I'm going to have uh, negative one. So from that two reactions, we can tell uh, the reaction coordinate of the second one is uh, two times reaction coordinate of the first one. That is changing. And then let's try to evaluate what for this reaction two, what is the uh, molar ratio of hydrogen. That is still defined as m of total plus new of the reaction two times epsilon two m total of the hydrogen plus. This is the mu i new hydrogen out of the second reaction times the corresponding reaction coordinate. Right. So we are still having n naught as three more, exact same uh, same system. So we only change the uh, reaction formula. Then this uh, new of the reaction is half, negative half, times epsilon 2. So we are still having two more to start with, for hydrogen. And uh, there we have negative 1 of this new hydrogen out of the second reaction, times epsilon 2. Okay. So now you can see that uh, we are having the epsilon 2 is uh, uh, 2 times epsilon 1, which is uh, 2 minus 2 epsilon 1, 
3 minus half times 2 epsilon 1 eventually we are having 2 minus 2 epsilon 1 3 minus epsilon 1 which is which is exactly the same as we just derived over here so that uh, uh, confirms uh, the uh, understanding that uh, uh, you can write down the reaction in whatever format interesting but it should not change the uh, the uh, eventual composition the molar molar fraction of uh, the reacting system Okay, had some technical technical difficulty. I hope you are able to follow the uh, discussion where we uh, try to show you that uh, for the same reaction, you can uh, have uh, the different ways of describing the reaction, but uh, uh, you're not going to change the, the final uh, model fraction of all the components. So essentially, you're going to have the same uh, model fraction of hydrogen, for example, in this case. And also, I want to I want to briefly discuss about uh, the the uh, two reactions. So let's say this is uh, this is example two. So now now we are having you know, the uh, same. Hydrogen in the vapor phase is reacting with oxygen for the complete uh, burning we are going to have water is the vapor phase so I'm going to have two hydrogen this is the uh, reaction one and then I could have the signal reaction uh, at some point, hydrogen is going to react with oxygen, and I'm going to have uh, hydrogen peroxide as the signal reaction. Okay. And now I'm going to start with uh, this uh, uh, saying. I'm uh, start with M not hydrogen. So initially, I'm still having. I'm still having same initially I'm having two more of ox uh, hydrogen I'm having one more of oxygen then uh, I'm having this as a reaction coordinate epsilon 1 for the signal reaction at equilibrium the corresponding reaction coordinate is epsilon 2. So now I'm asking you to write down this uh, Y hydrogen. What is that Y hydrogen? So in order to uh, write down that Y hydrogen, uh, firstly we have to understand the reaction. So for the reaction one, for the uh, reaction one, we are having new hydrogen of the reaction one is uh, negative two. The overall new of the reaction one is. Uh, Two plus negative one plus negative two, which is negative one. 
for the second reaction, the corresponding stoichiometry value for hydrogen is negative 1, and the overall new value is uh, what is uh, 1 minus negative 1, 1 plus negative 1 plus another negative 1, which is negative 1. So if I know that, then I'm ready to write down this. Uh, why would it be the total? Of all total is uh, 3 plus. First reaction, negative 2, times the corresponding reaction, coordinate, plus second reaction. No, this is overall. Plus reaction coordinate 2. And then for the hydrogen, I'm having initially two more, so this is two, and the uh, corresponding hydrogen stoichiometry value for reaction one is negative two times epsilon one plus for the second reaction, stoichiometry value for hydrogen is negative one times reaction two. Okay. That all together will be three minus epsilon one minus epsilon two two minus two epsilon one minus epsilon two. So in general for this uh, component MI of multiple reaction then as we discussed, this would be n i of the initial. Then we have a summation for the reaction J. For the summation of component I, then this is new of the component I out of J, of J times times what times corresponding reaction coordinate J. No, this is This shall be the J. Okay. Then for the O or we are still having the N total. There I'm going to have the summation of J that is uh, my new of the reaction times the corresponding reaction coordinate of that reaction. Okay. That is how we deal with uh, multiple reactions. Please check the uh, lecture one slides as well as the, uh, the textbook examples if you feel uh, you need a little bit more time on uh, those uh, those calculations. But now coming back, uh, it's okay. Now coming back to the the general uh, calculation of reaction equilibrium, we we mentioned that. Uh,
for the reaction new a of a reacting with new b of b going to generate the new c c of new d of d we said we we need to satisfy this new i mu i is zero at equilibrium On the other side, we understand this new i will be expressed from the uh, new i naught plus r t log of i at f i standard. So this is coming from the mu. The mu i is r t d log f i right where we have this uh, uh, f i of the head is uh, uh, coming out of mixture and fixed t and p f i of the standard is my standard state is it uh, Q at the same fixed temperature, but uh, the pressure is P naught is one eighty m. That is standard state. Then my uh, new I naught is corresponding to F I naught is just the corresponding uh, chemical potential at that standard state. So, uh, like we discussed in lecture, if we, uh, if, we, if we move all the known values from one side, uh, the known values here are, are basically those uh, standard state properties, then we are going to receive the equation of log product of Fi the mixture if I have the standard new I will be my log K which is negative data G of the uh, standard of RT so this data G is uh, Gibbs energy change of reaction at standard state which is T P naught the one idea so here we are going to divide uh, our reaction uh, calculation into two steps first of all we need to evaluate this term in order to receive the composition. Second, we need to also calculate the reaction constant K coming out of this data G naught calculation. So this is what we call as a, a two-part, a, a, a two-step calculation. Like I had in the uh, review slides, we define this as the two-step. One is uh, the calculation of frigacity out of mixture. This is K, the other is uh, log K is uh, RT delta G naught. Pay attention, delta G naught is depending on temperature. Okay. 
where we have this delta g double knot with delta g not knot. Okay, so like we discussed for for this uh, uh, capital K calculation, we have to involve the uh, involve all the reactants, all the products, and their corresponding CP CP values, where we uh, start with known value is CP component i at that standard state uh, we have this a i b i t c i t square d i t to negative and then of course for all those uh, all those uh, components reactants and products we understand that they are uh, Responding entropy and entropy. Where we can have the uh, standard state entropy change of the reaction. It's new I, H I, not. Similarly, standard state entropy change of the reaction is new I. Yes, I not. And of course, for this we can also calculate this data CP of the standard state. Shall be CP I or not. So you see that there's a no double standard meaning temperature is T. Of interest. For all those equations so far. Then in order to evaluate the temperature, uh, in order to evaluate the temperature effect, so we have to calculate this data S uh, of the standard state but at uh, a different temperature that shall be my standard state this data s double naught plus r this is from t naught my interest temperature this is data cp naught over r dt over t if you want Chris. similarly this data h of the standard state but at a different temperature should be that H not not plus R still moving from 298 Kelvin to the interest temperature data CP naught over R dt. Out of this we can calculate data G naught of the temperature is delta H naught of the temperature minus T times delta S naught of the temperature. So we can solve for this delta H naught. And then we can know K value. Right? We can eventually calculate this K value. So this is the uh, first step. The second step is is uh, is now for. This is for. We call this as step uh, A. Okay. 
this is step B known for A so now the known value for part B for part B we know the following we know uh, P we know T we know the reaction and we also know K uh, because we just have this calculated okay so those should be the known value for this part so out of that we can we can try to deal with this product if I over the hand, if I would stand that mu i this k. So in order to in order to calculate that we need to um, simplify. We need to understand in order to do that we need to understand what is F i of the mixture, what is F i of the standard. So the discussion we uh, hope to have is uh, uh, for the gas phase reaction. So now if you think about the gas phase reaction, then the, uh, the uh, fugacity at standard state will be just P naught, will just be 1 ATM. For the fugacity uh, of component I in the mixture, then we try to convert that uh, uh, using using the fugacity coefficient phi i out of the mixture. This shall be my fi fugacity of the mixture with uh, respect to the corresponding pi. That is my yi times p total. P total is no. This is still. So, therefore, we can have uh, Fi, the fugacity of component I in the mixture, is the product of phi I of the mixture times y i times p. Okay, where y i is uh, like we discussed is n. Of the, of the uh, initial total new of the reaction epsilon and i initial plus new i of epsilon. Okay, this is why i p is known. So now the following question is uh, what is that fugacity coefficient out of the mixture? So there we need to have the uh, two general two general discussions. Uh, first is we try to look at say this is a question. This is ideal gas where we have a phi i out of the mixture is a phi i of the pure component, which is pure. This is a mixture, and I'm having ideal gas. So this is indeed, from definition, is F i of P naught. So the ideal gas F i is my same P naught, P naught, which is one. So that should be straightforward. For the other case, I cannot have the ideal gas assumption, but I can assume the molecules are very similar to each other, so this is the ideal solution. Then I would have phi i out of the mixture, they are having the exact same intermolecular interactions, so I can have uh, phi i of the mixture is phi i of the pure component. And then I need to have the uh, 
log phi i calculations, right? Those calculations are coming from, like we discussed, the equation of state, the uh, corresponding state theory, or we can have TVX, TPX, those data. Okay, so that would be a long, long way to uh, encode the uh, to get the coefficient calculation. But eventually, we are going to have this solved. So for the uh, for the ideal gas, if we try to take a look at ideal gas, We are moving from pi this general case of i standard new i is k and uh, I have replaced f i over the head is phi i over the head y i p by combining that two then I'm going to have uh, I y I P this is basically one for the new I which is K. So I try to We arrange the, the terms where then I can have pi y i p new i is k. Where I can have pi y i mu i is the one over p next to mu i over all times k. This is for the gas phase reaction. For the ideal solution, following more or less the same, same discussion, then we can try to have phi i, phi i new i will be Should be P negative mu times K. Okay. 
So the only difference is this uh, uh, stochastic coefficient. And of course, there we, 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 uh, we have this uh, understanding that P0 is 180. So that is uh, what I want to discuss with you uh, for this uh, uh, reaction equilibrium. Like we discussed in the lecture, please do the following reading. One is uh, chapter examples. I've listed on the slide. The second is a uh, previous old exam problems about reaction equilibrium calculations. So if you can do the uh, this tool and if you feel comfortable about the general procedure as well as uh, um, expressing the uh, reaction the composition as a function of the uh, reaction coordinate I think everything should be straightforward for you for this part okay that's all I want to uh, to discuss today for this reaction equilibrium part.